Hello dear students, welcome to the lecture series of object oriented programming. In this lecture, we are going to see the iterators in C++ standard template library with its characteristics, functionality Venn diagram and operations support by them. At the end of this lecture, you will be able to introduce the iterators as well as you will be able to understand the functionality Venn diagram. Iterators As I told you, iterators act like, like a pointers. They are used to access the elements of the containers in this STL. We use iterators to move through the contents of containers. Iterators are handled just like pointers. We can increment and decrement them as per our requirement. Iterators connect containers with the algorithms and play a very important role in manipulation of data stored in the containers. They are often used to pass through from one element to another and this process is called as iterating through the container. Different types of iterators must be used with different types of containers. Only sequence and associative containers are traversable with iterators. The derived containers are not traversable with iterators. Here are some of the iterators with their characteristics. We have five different type of iterators such as input iterator, output iterator, forward iterator, bidirectional iterator and random access iterator. Uh, all of them uh, access the uh, all of them have the linear uh, access for uh, for the uh, for the elements which are in the container. Only the random access iterator have the random access. The direction of the movement for input, output and forward iterator is a forward whereas the direction for bidirectional and random access iterator is forward as well as backward. The input output capability if we talk about then input iterator can read the data whereas output iterator can write the data only whereas forward bidirectional and random access iterators can read and write the data. Uh, when you talk about uh, the overall performance of the input, output and all other iterators, then input and output iterators cannot be saved, whereas forward bidirectional and random access iterators can be saved. When you talk about the functionality Venn diagram of the iterators, it is observed over here. Each type of iterator is used for performing the certain functions. This Venn diagram illustrates the level of functionality provided by different categories of iterator we have input output iterators forward iterators bidirectional iterators and random access iterators the input and output iterators support the list functions they can be used only to traverse in a con container whereas forward iterators support all the operations of input and output iterators as well as they retain its position in the container the bidirectional iterator while supporting all the forward iterator operations provides the ability to move in the backward direction in the container whereas random access iterator combines the functionality of bidirectional iterator with an ability to jump to an arbitrary location. So if you move from uh, inside to outside the functionality will go fast. It is increasing and increasing only. So this is iterators uh, which are available in STL. Here are some of the operations supported by the iterators. Uh, here are the different types of iterators and uh, the operations can be categorized uh, depending upon element access, read, write, increment operation and comparison operation. So if you observe this chart, uh, then element can be accessed using arrow operator. Uh, elements can be read using pointer. Uh, it can be uh, read using pointer then you can increment or decrement the input output and forward iterators sorry you can increment and decrement the bidirectional and random access iterators whereas you can simply increment the input output and forward iterators so different comparison operations can also be performed um, by those iterators so these are the different iterators available in C++ STL library which are very useful and plays an important role to connect algorithms with the containers to manipulate the data. So I hope you have understood the iterators in the C++ standard template library. So thank you. Happy learning.